2024 may soon have its first death due to boxing injury, as a clash between heavyweights Ardian Dembu and Nestor Santana took a turn for the worst on April 6th. Nestor, a 26-year-old unbeaten Cuban southpaw in his third fight out as a pro, faced Ardi, who was 8-0 with a stoic story behind him inspired by that of Francis Ngannou. It was a bout that promised fireworks but ended in tragedy. Santana came in extremely fired up and was swinging for the fences with every shot. Ndembo tried to retaliate with a few body shots but was caught with a thunderous left hand to the side of the head. The fight lasted mere seconds. The horror of the aftermath would however last far longer. Ndembo was on the canvas for about 10 minutes after the knockout and had been carried out on a stretcher. It was further reported that he was put into a medically induced coma and is calm your huckleberry. Just my oh lordy, let's work. Now first and foremost, prayers go up for this young warrior right here. For this young warrior that stepped in that ring and put everything on the line. He put everything on the line. Now, on one of my Facebook posts, I put up, what does a street fight and a professional fight share in common? And people put up a lot of different answers. Some of them was good, but the answer they was missing is that you can die in either one. Now, people always like to stress the death factor and the street fight and clearly is there. But when you sign up for a fight that you can die in, that makes you a different type of warrior, a different type of animal. You sign the waiver saying you know this so the other man can't be held in court. There can be no criminal charges brought against him. He goes home and you never go home.